One day the wolf shall dwell with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. A little child's going to lead a leopard or a lion? Hey, Mommy, look at the big kitty I found. Can I keep the big kitty? <laughs> sure, honey, you can keep the big kitty. Put her out in the backyard and give her some grass. You say lions don't eat grass. I know, but they will one day. The Bible says the lion shall eat straw like the ox. Did you know God's going to fix the world back like it used to be? The child shall die a hundred years old, Isaiah 65 tells us. I believe we're going to get to have our own pet dinosaurs. We're going to rule and reign with Christ for a thousand years. The Bible says right here, a thousand years, rule and reign. That's going to be cool. And then he's going to make new heavens and a new earth. New heavens and a new earth. Second Peter chapter 3. New heavens, new earth. Revelation 21. New heavens, new earth. That's going to really be cool. And your brain cannot even imagine what that's going to be like. Paul said, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things God hath prepared for them that love him. God has things, plans for you, has things planned for you that you cannot even imagine. I'll give you one to try to think about, and then we're going to quit and go home. This is the electromagnetic spectrum. I taught physics. I've got to get this in here somewhere. Uh, this contains all the different wavelengths, radio waves, microwaves, you know, including a little bitty piece in the middle called light. Now, your eyeball can pick up those vibrations and translate it to pictures called the colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Suppose we get to heaven, and God gives us new eyes that can see the entire spectrum. That means they'll be brand new colors. Not new shades of these colors. Brand new colors. That's why heaven has to be so large. It's for the women's closets. <laughs> My wife's going to say, Honey, does this go with this? I say, Dear, I couldn't figure it out back on earth. She has to number my ties to go with my suits. It's not that I'm colorblind. It's that I don't know what goes with what. Secondly, I don't care. I just want to get dressed. Would you lay it out, please? Anybody else feel that way about it? You say, don't tell me about it. Just lay it out. There we go. Amen. <laughs> can you imagine? If we get eyes that can see the entire spectrum, you're going to be able to see the sounds coming off the piano and organ. Right now, we can only hear them. What if you could see them? What if we get new ears that can hear the entire spectrum? What if you could hear the colors? Oh, wow. <laughs> or smell them? Yellow. Ah, love yellow. Or taste them? Mmm, blue. Wow. <laughs> Folks, we've only got five senses. Maybe there are more. <laughs> But if we get to heaven and God takes just these five and expands them to the max, we're going to spend forever walking around heaven going, wow, wow. Have you smelled that? Come here, lick that. Wow. 